So this obviously a very good, um, you know, uh, development that is coming through because again, increasing bandwidth just means more uh, penetration, more internet penetration uh, for the people within this region. Tell us exactly what kind of impact we can expect going forward and given the fact that the World Bank is getting very involved in funding. Okay. Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, this is a really exciting project for us because not only does it enable the people of Gabon to be connected to affordable internet um, services, which clearly um, are needed, but it also brings down the cost because the current capacity, um, the only current capacity that we have is with the SAT3 cable, and that has been um, insufficient. And so we are connecting the country to the regional ACE uh, project, and on top of that, building a national backbone inside the country that would connect the interior of the country also, and then connect down to our Congo. So the impact that we're looking at is decreased cost um, of connectivity for the local people and expanded coverage of uh, internet. Okay, what you're access. also doing is you're um, also pushing public-private partnerships. This is going to be very uh, positive yes. as well. Um, you know, are we starting to see a lot of interest from the private sector already? Absolutely. I think the, uh, the, the main innovative feature of this is that the, the access and the management to this uh, cable will be on, the open, on an open access platform. So this will be a public-private par partnership between the government of Gabon, who's making a lot of the investment, but then we also want um, private operators to be able to invest. We believe that with them having skin in the game, their uh, ability to be competitive and to provide access to the m biggest number of people would be magnified. And so this is one of the, um, one of the uh, things that we're really happy about is that the government has agreed to manage this cable on a PPP basis so that open access is guaranteed. Zero, what's also interesting is from a regulatory perspective and also just putting out information laws, uh, you know, you are looking at regulatory capacity building. This is going to be very key and instrumental in getting, you know, buy-in from the private sector, isn't it? Absolutely. I think the um, having the right framework which enables the private sector to make a profit, obviously they're there to, to make money, but to protect them and to protect the government who's making this huge investment up front um, is key. So a lot of the uh, money is also going to technical assistance to ensure that the regulatory framework is set. When you think about all of the extra um, things that we're trying to do in terms of you know, ensuring cyber safety, ensuring that the laws around um, criminality on the internet are absolutely put in place in Gabon, um, these are the, the, some of the things that we will uh, be working on in addition to financing the construction of the cable and the connection so, to the AC. So, Zuria, if you could just paint a picture for us in terms of uh, connectivity at this point and internet penetration, I would assume it is relatively low. Um, how much uh, of an increase are you expecting through this project uh, and how quickly can we actually see it filtering through to the people on the ground? Okay, so the penetration rates that we have now are relatively low, um, less than 10%. We're expecting this number to be multiplied by at least five over the next um, few years. Access to the, uh, the ACE cable will be commercially available by the fourth quarter of 2012, so by the end of this year. And so construction of the national backbone will take us until 2014. So we're expecting that by then, when the capacity is actually available and more people are able to connect, that we will have a, a transformation, an, an increase in, penetra in the internet penetration yeah. from less than 10% to over 50% over so, the next few years. So Zuera, I mean, I look at the, the case here in South Africa and when we, you know, just uh, rewind around 10 to 15 years ago, it's usually the corporates that get to, uh, you know, have the biggest piece of the pie and have internet access access and then it starts trickling down and by the time it trickles down to the, the end consumer you see very you know uh, dismal uh, connectivity uh, issues coming through you don't see a very uh, exciting environment you can't really get um, you know internet connectivity to rural areas how are you foreseeing this to play out do you think it's really just going to to benefit the elite in Gabon I think that the first like you said this is accurate that the first people to be connected obviously are going to be the people who who are already connected now right because high speed internet is already available today so the elites and the people who have access already have access the idea of you know expanding connectivity and bringing down the cost 
is so that more people can have access to it. What I know is that by the time we're finished building, the, building out the national backbone throughout the country, people who didn't have access to the internet before inside of Gabon will be able to do so. In addition to that, we're not just thinking about people using the internet at home or at a cyber cafe, but also thinking about all the business applications that come from internet access. One of the uh, pillars of development that the, the, the government of Gabon is focused on is becoming a, a service country, right? Gabon de service. And one of the necessary keys there is to have a functioning modern telecom infrastructure so we're helping them to do this but the, the the rural connectivity if I can call it that will come from the national backbone and that is our rationale for supporting that part of the work. Fantastic Zura we have to leave it there thank you so much for joining us great to have you on CNBC Africa that was Zura Yusufu country manager for Gabon and Equatorial Guinea at the World Bank live from Libreville.